Our kids can be the greatest advocates. Even though people tell you you can't do something, just follow your gut feeling. They can say things that adults can't say. Students your age and younger are empowered. The things that you guys are already doing or can easily do. And if everyone in the world does that, then we'll all take a big step to make the world more green and sustainable. I am the coordinator of the Eco Council. I'm the seventh grade representative for the Eco Council. I'm a member of the Green Team. Eco Council is a group of parents, students, and teachers who teach students about sustainability and also being the school and being more good. I think it's good for us to be in the green team, not just parents, because then everyone knows that kids can also go school. The growing of the food. The city of the environment. The environment. And the environment that we live in. And yourselves. When you change yourself, the world, the world the earth, begins to change. We're going to have to live in it. So it's important that we take care of it. That's what this school was founded for. Today we had a sustainability showcase, stuff that is already happening in our classrooms that had to do with sustainability or the environment. When you hold it up to the light bulb, it's students because it's solar powered. So you don't always have to use like really expensive electricity. Everyone is encouraged to walk to school on Earth Week. We start in California. Broadway to Broadway. That would then to school. <laughs> There's a board outside school. You can sign your name if you walk. We can figure out how much energy we can save. I want there to be a program that teaches kids from kindergarten where their food comes from. Counting heirloom bees, learning about India, counting all the spices, a geography class and figuring out where every one of those spices comes from. If kids are involved with the growing of the food and the cooking of it, they want to eat it. Kids are at the mercy of fast food nation. They're eating the values of the food. There's nobody in my family that had an urban farm. Oliver taught us a lot about urban farming. He started a garden in his own backyard. I planted everything from uh, scallions, potatoes, anything and everything that we ate. There was a lot of like education at my school about eating organically and not eating food that's bad for you. Nobody really learned anything. I wanted to see like if I could um, make people learn. If you have someone your age talking to you, it's easier to relate to them. People told us we weren't going to get fruit the first year and that there was, it was going to take all this care and that our soil wasn't good enough. You just can't believe any of that because you get that on the first year. 16. We're going to fill these guys up with soil, plant one seed, take it home and plant it. It taught us how we can do this on our own time. My family's a lot more green because of Hamlet. Kids learn that they need to 